Welcome to CADtools.com. This video series will demonstrate how to create material data in AutoCAD and how to extract the data to be manipulated with Metalop, a material optimizer. After that, we will import the tag data back to AutoCAD. Okay, from here, I make additional elevations and manipulate them as I go. So we'll copy this one and for example our next elevation is let's see what we got here. We will make it twelve feet wide. So I'm going to add 48 inches to now be 12 feet. No. I have a DLO of 44 and 3 eighths inches. So I will trim this horizontal data. Offset my mullion two and a half inches. Trim my mullion lines. the glazing data and the horizontal data and then we will just trim the lines And then I want to make equal lights, so I just stretch them to make them equal. There we've made equal DLOs. And by stretching, automatically stretches all the lines with it. So that elevation is done. Call that elevation B. Only one of those. Next we will make a third elevation. C. Actually, if I remember right, this is two thus. And this is one required. This one, get in the right position, goes to the floor. Erase this. I'll set. 2.5 for the horizontal. I need to move when it 
it stretched, moved our lines, but these are sill members. Stretch, try stretching again. That's ah, better. Stretch. Pick these individually. Stretch. And then we will copy the intermediate horizontal to the new intermediate horizontal. And you will see when we update, we have a new mullion length, 131 inches. So we update and, uh, and refresh those fields. So the only other thing we need to do is add some glazing data. Need to trim. Move our glass to where we can see the tag. And we are going to oops, need to copy. Please, class designations. To our new DLOs. And this row is going to be a spandrel glass, quarter inch spandrel glass, which will be a designated designation three. Because we have, I'll show you on another elevation which has a spandrel glass, it's one inch spandrel glass, which is designation two. So that is our elevation C. Now that we have this spandrel glass, we need to add the glazing adapters. Let's glance at these. We need to add data for these glazing adapters for quarter inch glass. So we will grab just a single tag grouped single tag. And we will add that for our DLO. And this that perpendicular to the daylight. Then you can either make the line longer or add it to the formula. Okay, let's add the extrusion data for the conier adapter, which is a 162-019 vertically it is DLO plus one and three eighths. And we'll just call that adapter. So we copy the data. Now we're going to have it on each side of the vertical. So we're going to need two of them. Stretch the tag so it clears. Copy to this mullion. And just copy one more for the jam. And then we will make a horizontal one. 
we just grab the line points, make it a horizontal line. And this information to extrusions in the formula is DLO minus a sixteenth and that's an adapter and here you can make it a vertical adapter horizontal adapter but there's no preps that need to change so for me it doesn't matter so we will copy this to the head stretch you can also select the grip and move the tag data around. We will copy the two horizontal ones to the intermediate and the jam. Now the two jams are the same DLO but the intermediate we need to you'll see the line is not long enough so we need to extend that line and this line. This is a prime example of how to keep your data straight which is why we group them. So when we select this we know it's the top line and the horizontal data we know which line to manipulate. So we'll grab this grip. Everything clears. Pretty good. I think we will stretch this one here just to clear better. When we import our tags, we may have to readjust them. So that spandrel light is done. In the next video, we will use the CAD Tools Data Exchange Program to extract the curtain wall data into a new Excel spreadsheet. Thank you for looking at the CADTools.com video, and please take a look at the MetalOp Material Optimizer at MetalOp.com.